everyone and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 Remix. I'm the Shiba Shiba Dana. Today we're going to continue onwards and uh, yeah, I could finish off Deep Jungle. In the last part, uh, Jane had a bit of an issue and got herself kidnapped, it looked like. So, using Tarzan's magical senses, we know where exactly she is. So, without any further ado, let's begin and uh, head on back up towards the treehouse. And find her. Now this thing right here you might, is an interesting enemy. It's a shuffle type of deal. Now it'll do um, a certain animation depend... It'll, basically it'll do a certain animation. And depending on the animation you shoot a certain type of magic at it. This will give you a lot of items. Well, very useful items that you're gonna need for synthesize... Synth... Synth... synth creating weapons and such. Now, I, I'm not going to bother with all these, but you need to mess about with these guys in order to get the ultimate weapon, because other, there's no... To get the ultimate weapon, you need to synthesize everything in the synthesis shop, which I don't think we've unlocked yet, so... You will get to that at a later time. Anyways, head on back up to uh, where we gotta go. The last part had a bit of audio desyncing that I had to fix, so I hope to god it wasn't too noticeable for you guys, but... Um, oh god, no. Get, get on Hippo. Sora. It's gonna be one of those parts, it seems. But yeah, um, basically, I, I'm using the HDPPR2 to record this now. As some of you may know, I picked this up not long ago. And I'm still using component cables because I haven't got the HDCP thing that lets me record PS3 HDMI yet. So I got a bit of time before I can get 1080p Kingdom Hearts footage out. But it should be good enough for now, I hope. Anyway, where am I going? Where am I going? Oh yeah, up here, up here. So it's basically the same route we took, we taken to originally come up here. But you might. There's a lot of enemies in this upcoming area. Oh wait, cutscene. That it. All right. So yeah, as the text says, the big black fruit looks suspicious. So there's going to be a lot of enemies in this area. Completely ignore them. Hit this giant plum here, because. Uh, Sora's not a fan of Rayman, you see, and he, he, he doesn't like plums. So basically, just keep hitting this a number of times. After you hit it enough, that you'll basically win. So, it's really not that difficult. Your hardest... The hardest thing is actually hitting this fruit because you can't target it, which is very annoying. And sometimes you'll also target the enemies, which means you're going to end up flying into the enemies and start attacking them instead. But seriously, that's all there is to it. Just keep wailing until you succeed. So, uh, I just noticed a bit of frame skipping now on my HD PVR, so I'm gonna need to fix things. So, sorry about this, guys. Down, down. Up. And that's how I sync my videos, folks. Anyway, um, basically, Clayton's gone mad, apparently, so... Let's not go to the treetops. Why am, I, why am I going to the treetops for? Actually, oh, oh, I can take a shortcut back. Basically, go through here to the treetops, and, um, you, you will be will be brought back straight to the tunnel area, which also gives us a nice chest up here. What's this? What's in here? Mega Ether! Oh, yeah, fantastic. So I'll do the whole slidey slide thing again. And you remember when we went to uh, destroy Sabor? Well, we need to go back to him. Why do we need to go back to him? Because that's where the boss takes place. And the boss fight, to be honest, I don't think the boss fight will take too long to complete. It might give you some health issues. So I'm just going to cut to when we get there. And we are back, folks, in the bamboo thicket. So in this next room here is where the boss fight's going to take place. So let's go and uh, stop Clayton for being the... The bit of a cretin that he is. That's pretty much all he's doing in this. Being a cretin. No! Clayton! Not Clayton. <laughs> Not Clayton. Right to you then, so it's time to take care of... No, that's not Clayton, that's a Heartless. 
Ow. That's time to tick out bloody Clayton. Now, Clayton is extremely easy if you can get in close to him because he's a long-range attacker. But if you leave him too long, he will start a heal. And, um... This is pretty much all there is to the fight. Don't worry, this isn't... There are two fights, so this isn't all you're going to see. And he almost did heal. Huh. But there we go, we take him down phase one. Just keep wailing on him until he dies. It's That's how simple it is. But, time for phase two. Now this is where the fight actually gets difficult. Ouch. That looked painful. So yeah, he's riding on a giant chameleon heartless, which now this is where things are gonna get tricky. Now, just wail on the heartless and try your best to, to not die. Whenever you're going low health, as always, just um, use healing items. Do not be afraid to use them. After you hit him so much though, Clayton will actually be knocked off and um, ignore. When the Clayton gets ignored, knocked off, you're gonna want to completely ignore this giant lizard because, well, Truth be told, the lizard's no big deal. Clayton's the Clayton's the big threat considering he can heal and he has well the ability to yeah yeah he can heal and he shoots you from long range, which is not not fun. But so but as you can probably tell, this the lizard's also very annoying because the lizard can shoot laser beams. So just uh, do your best and just try and ah what's going on? I can't tell what's happening. You're going to have a bit of issues mainly just attacking him because he's going to hop around like a freaking maniac. But keep wailing on him until his HP goes to zero. I think he's got a pretty decent amount of health, but so long as you keep going and doing your thing, shouldn't be a, a, a much of an issue. Usually you're generally pretty safe from the lasers that the, the giant chameleon shoots out as well if you're close enough to it, so... But I died. You can die qu quite quickly in this fight, but that's pretty much it. So I'm just going to cut to the very end of the fight, so you guys don't have to watch all of my failures. And with that, folks, we have cleared the boss. He, he's really not that difficult, but you need to pretty much be on your toes to beat him. Ah, first death of the game, what do you know? I wasn't expecting to see that. Anyway, like I said, he'll get his comeuppance and he's about to right now. Even though we barely touched the boss during the entire fight. Oh, what a painful way to go. Anyway, it was quite a successful boss fight, I guess. We only died once, not bad. You'll probably only ever really see me die during the boss fights in this game, because boss fights can be quite tricky. But with that, we got quite the most useful thing in this entire game, the ability to heal ourselves. You do not know how much I missed this up until this point of the game. You really don't. And there we are. So yeah, this is pretty much Tarzan's home by here. See? I didn't actually know I was going to speak, so sorry about that. Anyway, I gotta do another sync because uh, dropped frames. Down, down, up, up. Right. And that is time to get moving onwards. So yeah, it's time to do a little, a very small platforming section. And which, which is, to be honest, this is a pretty easy platforming section. You just have to maneuver your way around the cave. Got a couple of treasure chests if you look around, so I would advise quite looking around because you never know what you can find. Like there's one up there. Although I have to say your biggest enemy in this section is the camera. No, I d mm. Oh my god. Platforming in this game. They've improved this so much in the second game. 
Right, there we go, there we go. What's in this chest? Ah, more puppies. It feels... I want to kill whoever put those in there, seriously. Right, um... I blame the camera entirely for that. Now, if you move up onto this wall, you can actually shimmy across, which is something the game doesn't even tell you. So that's something if, you, uh, if you're if you interested in knowing, because it'll be useful to know. Anyway, what's this? Mithril. Seriously? Nothing that good? Really? Oh well. Same case with shipping across the wall, just jump up on you and you'll be able to jump across. What's in? Chest number something. Or a calcum! Uh, I, they're quite useful for synthesizing, but nothing else. So, a lot of synthesis items, but nothing really worth mentioning, to be honest. Alright, uh, t -t 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 there it is, there it is. So you really do need to just mess around with the camera, and trust me, playing this on the PS2 was uh, abysmal considering the cameras on L2 and R2, I have to say. But without further ado, let's move into this cave section and finish off the level. So just to double check, down, up, down, up, let's, go, let's do this. This is your home? But that means... Huh? Ooh. Ooh. The waterfalls! They're echoing all the way here! <laughs> friends there. See friends. Oh, now I've got it! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah. Means heart. Friends in our hearts. Heart. Oh, so that's what it meant. Friends. Same heart. Clayton. Lose heart. No heart. No see friends. No heart. No friends. Sorry about what I said. I'm Charlotte <laughs> Kerr. Yeah, all for one, huh? But it's sure not the king's. I think someone has a new admirer. No, 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 no! Did you even kill me? Oh, that Donald. So, yeah, we've cleared this world. We're done. We finished it. Which means, we got more cutscenes, I think, yes. Meanwhile, there's a Legion of Doom. What drew the Heartless to that world? The Hunter lured them there. It was his lust for power that was the bait. But it seems the bait was too tasty for his own good. <laughs> yeah, he got chopped instead. Hmm. A weak hearted fool like him stood no chance against the heartless. But the boy is a problem. He found one of the keyholes. Fear not, it will take him ages to find the leaf. Besides, he remains blissfully unaware of our other plan. Yes, the princesses. They are falling into our hands, one by one. Speaking of which... So that's where Alice went. Now we just need to know where that is and where Salt is. I think. 
Well, not really, considering he's kind of abandoned Alice's world entirely, but, you know, whatevs. But, yeah, time to get going. It's time to finish off his world. But we don't leave with nothing, folks. We got the first Keyblade attachment, the Jungle King. Now, this Keyblade attachment is fantastic. It is, has an insane reach. As I mean, really long reach. You can hit someone from quite far away. So, um, as soon as the game loads up, it's not going to load up. It's going to go straight to flying. Ugh. Fine, then. Ah. <sighs> I was quite, I was kind of hoping that it would go, just let me leave when I wanted because I really wanted to equip the Keyblade, but eh, no matter. So yeah, Sora, Donald, they're off again. What a surprise. Oh, yuck. But with that, folks, that's it for this world. We're done. So when we return next time, we will continue onwards and take care of Traverse Town yet again because we got to visit that place a second time and find out about these this newer g gummy pieces we've been finding. So next time we're going to do that, make ourselves a brand new gummy ship and hopefully I would have fixed my, my desync issues which hopefully you guys haven't noticed. So without further ado, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed, appreciate it, like, comment the video. I'll catch you all next time.